All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with everybody. I hope the voice is coming good and clear. Uh, in this video, we are going to answer some comments by the Abdul. And in front of us in the screen, we will see uh, one of it, which is uh, what the topic or the title is about. A Muslim uh, Abdul, he said, and you can read with me, uh, why does this, uh, you know, he's calling me names as usual, nothing new. Uh, keep calling every Muslim Abdul. Here you notice that the Muslims, they have no idea what their religion is about. Otherwise, how a Muslim he can complain about calling him Abdul if he is called Abdul in his religion. The only way to understand that you're upset for me calling you Abdul is you don't accept to be Abdul. Abdul simply is, uh, uh, is a summary of the word Abdullah. As simple as that. And you must then believe that every one of you is Abdullah. So why you are you feel insulted to be called Abdul? Abdul is a black slave as a word in Arabic. Abd. Adin il is to be abd of someone. The religion it choose. The word which is a black slave to call every Muslim because simply in the front of Allah you are just for him, you know, because he is obviously he don't he don't consider you a free person. And he, he you know, even he he used the word abid, which from you know, I mean it's a obviously it's a racist uh, uh, statement. Uh but Muhammad he inherited that from the Arab. This is nothing nothing to do with Muhammad as much it is an Arab thing. The Arab they use the word Abid and uh, you know if somebody supposed to, he want to humble himself so much so he make himself equal to a black slave but this is the roots of it is racism that if you are black you are not equal to someone is white and this is why Islam he you know uh, adopt this idea because Allah consider every creature is his slave and he's not only just a slave he is a black slave for Islam is a racist cult and if you remember we showed you in the Quran how many times the Quran consistent keeps speaking about that Allah will not accept anyone to go to heaven unless he make him white first where the Quran says the day where Allah make faces black and faces white and that explained to us who are you right now for Allah Islam as a racist cult always keep using the word white face, white face. So like can, as an example, chapter 3, verse 106, the day Allah will make faces white and the day Allah will make faces black. And this is here is literally black is not like a metaphorical. And you can read the interpretation, especially of chapter 27, verse number 82, the chapter of the ants. Where Allah will send a, a beast, it's called a jassasa, and this beast is going to hit the Muslim in his face and will make him pure white and will hit the one who like me with his face and it will be black and I will be happy to be black. I have no problem to be black. Why not? I mean, black is a human being like everybody, and even they can be better than even even by looking. I mean, what the, what what the, what the point of saying uh, I will make you white and, and black unless unless you are racist? So Allah is a, is a God of racism. And if you don't believe me, you know, we can go right now and show you from your own yellow pages, as an example, Tafsir, Tafsir Ibn Kathir. We can go, chapter 27, in the front of your eyes, verse number 82. And here we go. Bingo. This is Ibn Kathir, printed by you, translated by you, published by you, you know, and, and read by me. <laughs> so don't complain, my friend, right? Let's see what your God Allah He said about the Abdul. You are Abdul, as Allah described you in the Quran in many verses. But here you notice that Allah still, because you worship Him, He will not keep you as Abdul. He will make you a special kind of Abdul. He will make you a white one. And me, because I did not accept Allah, Allah will make me black one. You will see here 
that there is a beast and the, the Quran described this funny beast will come from the ground and he is going to hit every uh, human being either with the stick of Musa's or the ring of cinnamon it will bring out the staff of Musa's and the ring of cinnamon there will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face which is going to spread until all his face is shiny uh, uh, white this is physically literally and as a result and there is no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face which will spread until his face turn to black as a result so my friend when your Quran call you Abdul you don't complain because I called you Abdul the Quran says it clearly in chapter 51 verse number 56 that all of you are Abdul the word Ya'bud is coming from the word Abid too which means you have no choice uh, the whole simple you know why Allah he created you he created to be a uh, to be a slave as simple as that he did not create you to be a free man he created you for one purpose to be his slave that's it the the translation here says to uh, to worship me uh, the fact it's, it's it's true the word uh, uh, you know but it's coming from the word slavery so to worship as a slave as someone who have no choice so you are Abdul in the same time, why you are upset from calling me Abdul, but you can upset from you calling me 24 hours, seven days a week, Kafir, which is a very ugly uh, hate hatred word. You know, uh, uh, the liberals, they speak about the uh, hate crimes. Well, the liberals are really fake people because the Quran is a book of, book of hate. You know, the, the, the Quran called Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, anyone is not a Muslim, Kafir. What does that mean? Kafir simply should be uh, slaughtered. He's filthy, he's bad, he's the enemy of Allah, and he have he deserved to die. He is guilty. All those verses in the front of us. Uh, as an example. The Jews are kuffar. The Christian are kuffar. Chapter five, verse number seventeen. Let us talk about the Christian. We are Christians. The chapter five, verse number seventy-one. The chapter five, verse number seventy-three. We are kuffar. So calling you Abdul, making you offended, calling me kafir is not offending. What about you calling me najis as an example, which means dirty, filthy? And dirty not in the mean like you take a shower you will be fine no dirty which mean nothing can clean you you are filthy this is a hate crime I don't believe that Muslims are dirty even they are not believing in my belief I believe they have the wrong uh, uh, you know worship but I'm not going to say a Muslim is najis so you Quran when the Quran says that those those who they are uh, 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 believe in Jesus that he is God they are kuffar he is he calling me names and those names to threat, threat my life because remember in the Quran chapter 5 the same chapter uh, 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 chapter 5 uh, uh, it says clearly that we cannot take the Christians and the Jews as a friends uh, which mean you have to fight them and uh, you know you have to kill them uh, if you go here as an example this is chapter 5 40, 51 he says, take not the Jews and the Christians for friends. You see it? This is your translation. This is a book of hate. This is a book of hate. Now, if we go to chapter 9, what you should do to somebody is a kafir. What you should do to the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus and the Buddhas. Quran says it clearly, you have to fight them and kill them. It's a duty. It's a must. So, this is your Quran. So you call me kafir, you call me najis, you call me any clean. Read with me. Here it says we are we are we are najis. Oh who you believe, the idolaters. Actually, it doesn't say the idolaters, it says al-mushrikeen. A mushrikeen is anyone who associates or worship other than Allah. Anyone who is not a Muslim is an any clean. This is your book. And you see the translation here is saying any clean, which is not really it's a nice word to say. I mean, compared to the word najis. The word najis have nothing to do with any clean. The word najis mean you are filthy pig. 
So you get offended from calling you Abdul when your God call you Abdul, but you are not offended for calling me Kafir, pig, monkey. The Quran call us pigs and monkeys. The Quran call us nudges, filthy, not any clean, as the translation here tried to fabricate. To the point we are not allowed to enter cities of Mecca and Medina. This is how filthy we are. Which means your Islam uh, believe in separation between people. They are not equal. There's clean people and there's dirty people. Based on what? Based on belief. And there's a land, Zoom free, only for Muslims. Zoom free for Kuffar. So if you are not a Muslim, you cannot enter this land. Why? Because this is a hateful, racist religion. You know, uh, not long time ago, we have the white people in the South Africa used to not allowed uh, uh, black people to go in the bus with them. Why? Because they are racist. For sure, I'm not saying everybody there. I'm saying the group who was controlling the country, they are racist. So you, if you are black, you cannot go in the bus with them. This is Islam. It's the same. If you are not one of them, you cannot go in the bus with them. You are filthy. Do you see it? So, consider anyone as a Muslim insulting 7 billion human beings, saying they are filthy, dirty, is not bad for you. But if I call you Abdul, as the Quran call you, you, are in, you, you, you get offended? That is the hypocrisy of the Muslims. Right? I'm not calling you Abdul because I am, you know, insulting you. Right? Uh, we have a uh, maverick, uh, the Islamophobic debate. Sure, CP blocked you. You see, uh, uh, we have a bunch of kids who do not know even wh who is their God. Uh, maverick, I'm going to ask you a question. If you answer it correctly, I will let you call me. Is that fair, guys? Just, just to see if you have a knowledge of or, or not. If you are qualified to call, talk to me, to someone like me, then I will give you a chance to call me. What do you say, guys? Is that fair? Look what this uh, maverick is saying. Uh, the Islamophobic debate, sure, but uh, CP blocked me several times. He uh, banked every time I speak to him. Okay, let us see if this kid, he, he mean what he say. Deal. I will call you myself. I don't know who are you anyway. Is your God Allah as a spirit? Is your God Allah as a spirit? If you answer this is a very easy question, if you answer it, I will let you call me. Is your God Allah a spirit or a physical being? Maverick, I'm waiting for your answer. Everybody is waiting. Abbas, who Abbas, even the, the, the idiot Abbas. The, the, the idiot Abbas is complaining, I don't let him talk. You're a kid. Each time I ask you a question, you say, I do not know, I'm driving. Now answer me, Abbas. Is your is your God Allah a spirit, or He is a physical being? I hope you are not driving, because usually you are driving always. Allah knows. Here we go. So why you want to call me? I mean, look at this fool. He do not know even if his God is a spirit or a physical being. What is the answer? Allah knows. So you will call me to if I ask you a question, you will say to me, Allah knows. And look like he is spreading his muscles in the chat. Like, if I call him, he block me. You, you are a kid. You are a kid. Maybe you are 40 years old. Yes, but you are just a stupid kid. Why do I want to waste my time even talking to someone like you? Go and wear a veil, a burqa, and, you know, let your wife call me. She might have better answer than you. I never saw a fool like you. Each time you call me, I spank you. People laugh at you. And then you go to the uh, speaker corner, and people, they, they, they laugh at you to death. And then you you claim that you have a you, you you know you are a guy who can ask questions and talk. Yes, my God is a spirit. <laughs> Your God, you see, look, he don't he don't know if his God is a spirit. I mean, what kind of religion is religion is? What kind of religion? The follower of it do not know the nature of their God. They don't know if he he, he just said, I do not know if Allah is a spirit or not. I mean, so you worship who you donkey? People they say to me sometimes, why you use the word donkey, my friend? What I can call him? You tell me. Someone is forty years old until now. He do not know. He is worshiping what? A physical being or a spirit?
So why who's Allah then for you? Just a name? You do not know he is a uh, his his uh, his man. He is a spirit. He is what? He is man and spirit? No. He is a physical being. Well, a physical being. What does that mean? No. It, it, even even that question you did not answer me. Hmm? It's your God who live in the tent, my friend. You want me to show you? <laughs> you know, Abdul. Ab, Ab, when I say Abdul, are the most funny, silly people ever. You see, when my Bible speak about something, my Bible is full of metaphorical stuff. The tent is the sky. This is the tent of God. All the universe is the tent of God. <laughs> my God is everywhere. Muslim, their God is not everywhere. Ask any Muslim, is your God everywhere? They will say, no, my God is not in the bathroom. <laughs> Your God is not anywhere. Let me show you where your God. Your God every day he have a travel. He have to take a ticket and go down to earth so he can hear your prayer. Why? Because he is not everywhere and he have a bad reception. Read with me and love. <clears throat> Look at this God, guys. Is it true that Jesus says every two of you mention my name, I will be between them? Did Jesus says that? He did, right? Every two of you mention my name, I will. You don't need Jesus did not need to come down, go up and go down, come up and down. He, you mention his name, he hear you. That's it. Every two of you speak about him. It's a church. Look at this. Our Lord, who's talking Muhammad? This is Sahih Muslim. We can show it to you from Sahih Bukhari if you don't like Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Bukhari. Our Lord, not the blast. Huh? Uh, anyway, he come every night down to the nearest heaven to do what? To us, when the last third of the night saying, <laughs> if there is anyone invoking me? <laughs> So I might respond to his invocation. <laughs> Question: Why Allah? <laughs> why Allah? He need to come. I mean, what what kind of God this God is? I feel sorry for him. Every morning before the sunrise, Allah come down to the nearest heaven. That's mean Allah. He he he. You know, he he go inside his creation. Allah inside his creation. Muslim they say Allah cannot be inside his creation. No, he is inside his creation. Because when you say to me, he goes down, down where? In in the atmosphere of the earth, in the in the sky, which is close to the earth. According to Islam, there is seven skies and there is seven earth. Until now, we could not find the seven earth. So there are seven skies and seven earth. And Allah go down every night from seven from the sky number seven to sky number one, going inside his creation to do what? So he can hear your prayer. Obviously, your God Allah do not have good reception in the seven heaven. You have to get it closer, so can he hear you? Otherwise, I challenge you to tell me what is the reason. Right? <coughs> uh, so a Muslim, he do not know the nature of his God. And this is one of the funny things about Islam. They know that their God have five fingers, their God have foot, their God he looked like a man. And yet they say to us, why you worship a man when their God looked like Jesus, according to Muhammad. Look what Muhammad he said about Allah, look. Allah looked like the false Messiah. According to who? According to Muhammad, not according to me. I believe Allah does not exist, does not look like anything for he does not exist. Muhammad says it clearly that if you are confused about how your Lord look like, you should know that the false Messiah, he is short, hinted, uh, woodly hair, uh, uh, one-eyed, etc. So Muhammad here, he described how the false Messiah look like. But Muhammad is afraid that the Muslim, they will think that the false Messiah, he is Allah. So look what he said. So if you are confused about him, him who? The false Messiah, which here in the translation, they call him the Antichrist, which is false. The false Messiah in Islam is not the Antichrist. 
there's no antichrist in Islam it is al Messiah Dajjal which means the Messiah who is the liar not the real Messiah somebody will come down to earth claim to be he is a real Messiah so Muhammad says if you are confused about him him who Allah uh, sorry uh, the, uh, uh, the Jal, uh, uh, the Christ uh, the, the liar and your God well you should know that Allah is not one eyed so Muhammad is afraid that the Muslim when the Dajjal come they will think that he and Allah is one because they look exactly the same otherwise why you are comparing between Allah and the false Messiah sorry the alarm of a car outside went off do you understand Abdul here we go the, even the alarm is worried about the one eye of uh, your God so your God now he have uh, two eyes huh are you telling me now your God Allah is not one eye he have two eyes and nice to meet you Allah hey, Allah have two eyes guys that's the good news and Allah is a short and hidden tooth and woolly hair and one eyed, and they, you know, he's not one eye sighted. Yeah, I hope the guy who owned this car will stop the alarm. I hope the alarm will not stay like this for the. Do you hear, you, do you hear the alarm guys? Is the alarm coming? You hear it, or only me? Uh, wait 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 look look what he's saying look at this smart guy I mean this guy I think this ma his mom when she when she gave birth to him uh, she was drinking uh, too much Pepsi Cola or seven up because he's jumping all over the place don't lie CP this hadith em em emphasizing that the Jajal is one-eyed who will be claiming to be the devil but Allah is not one-eyed okay hold on so if the Dajjal he looked like a man why Muhammad is worried that Muslims they will think he is God and he is Allah <laughs> he looked like a man why Muhammad is worried the guy is a man why he is saying Allah is not one eye this guy is one eye obviously he is describing the differences between them correct guys isn't it obvious if that guy he, he claimed to be the Messiah the Messiah is what he looked like a man so why Muhammad is worry between him and comparing between him and Allah? Are you there, Abdul? Change your name. Change your name. You call yourself, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, like something different. Halal ham. Hmm? Halal uh, pork. I mean, your answer is hilarious. Muhammad comparing between the God of Islam and the man. What the difference between them? One eye only. The Messiah, the Messiah the Dajjal, he will come and he say, I am the Messiah. He look like a man. So what the problem? Why Muhammad is worried about you being confused between Allah look and the false Messiah look? Unless Allah, he is a man too. And what the Muslim they will say to you, brother, this is daif, daif, brother. Anything they don't like, they say is daif. No, it's not daif. Allah have fingers. You can go right now on YouTube search. Allah have hands. Allah have fingers. Allah is a physical being. All the Muslims agree. Allah is a physical being. And here Muhammad he described Allah. He look exactly like the false messiah. The only difference between them is the eye. And by the way, uh, Maverick, as long as you are so smart, why Allah have two eyes? How he can see the back of him? As long as Allah have two eyes, that means he can see only where his eyes, you know, pointing at. Can Allah see his back? Can Allah see his back? Why Allah he have two eyes you see we believe that God he came to us as a man he took the form of a man but God is not really uh, you know it's not like a man became God as God became a man took the flesh of a man so he looked like a man but your God Allah now he's not taking a flesh of a man this is how he looked like so the question is why he have two eyes if Allah can see everything 
why Allah have five fingers huh why Allah have a foot why Allah have two hands and both of them in the right side actually I like this I mean I like real Allah that Allah he have two hands in the right side Muhammad he created his own funny image about his God look at this Muhammad he says and both the hands of Allah are right hands have you ever heard of a God he have two hands in the right side is that a birth defect Did Muslims offer me money to stop? Yeah, but you know, this they, they give up. This is a long time ago. Actually, the Muslims offer me life on air more than a hundred thousand dollars, and they were talking serious. One hundred thousand dollars. This was a while ago, a long time ago. Hmm. But because I have two right hands, I could not uh, cash the money because they want to give it to me in the left hand. What do you think, Abbas? Yeah, actually, there's a there's a gentleman. His name is a child of God. He have the recording. I don't know. Maybe it's in YouTube. They start negotiating with me in the private and I said I have nothing to hide just come in the mic and talk he said yeah, this is even better because now everybody will knows that you if you get paid you have no right to come I said sure sure tell us what do you want <laughs> no I do not know who is that says Steve are you there uh, the 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 spider man of Allah Abbas guys from now from now on Abbas is the spider of a uh, spider man of Allah He's all over the place <laughs> actually I feel really sorry for this Abbas when he go uh, in in this in uh, in the speaker corner you will see those guys in the uh, speaker corners humiliating him I really feel sorry for him Uh, I feel for you, my friend. All right. Oh, oh, we love you. To the give you a chance all the time shush. Christian Prince give you a chance okay yeah. to deal with him through what was that Skype or phone yeah. Yeah. Skype or chance he me all the time Christian Prince give you a chance okay yeah. to deal with him through what was that Skype or phone yeah. Skype yeah. or phone yeah. He, he did not only butcher you I was in that program for 10 minutes I am sorry to say he did not only butcher you he made barbecue from you and then he gave you out and sold you out for people to eat from that barbecue but your still, opinion. Your opinion. still you stand out and then say that's your opinion what is between you something? and Christian friends? It is there. But as a something. Christian, no, 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 let no, no, me finish. No, no, let no, me no, finish. No, no, no. As a Christian, my brother and I concern that before. we don't want to, we don't want to have a barbecue day after day, every time when you go to the Christian Prince program. It is sad to see because we concern for he's gonna butcher you again, he's gonna butcher you again, and one day from the shame you brought to the Dawah him, you are not gonna able to come to speakers corner. That makes one less Muslim at the corner, and on that's and not very good. Can I say something now? You sure. own and on. Now you made, you, made, you made a lot of claims right now. 
that Christian Prince butchered me. Yes, now, he did. I am saying to you. <laughs> he even emailed me. Why not, Didn't he email me? Why don't you tell her be a lady? You're telling me be a gentleman. Talk why to me. Talk to me, brother. You're telling me. Why Abbas, not telling her to let me speak? Abbas, it's getting embarrassing. Yes. <laughs> it is. Yes. Are you guys all right? You guys here. Let me speak. I say, God bless you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you. Uh, Abbas, you got it wrong. You should say, Allah bless you. <laughs> Secondly, Abbas, you cannot say to non Muslim, God bless you, you idiot. This is haram. Even this, you commit shirk now. A Muslim, he cannot say, God bless you, to non Muslims. Otherwise, he is saying to them, you, The God you worship, which is not my God, bless you. That is shirk. You are a mushrik Abbas. I feel sorry for you. Now I don't mind, by the way, if Abbas want to talk to me, I, you know, I can open Skype and let him call me. But Abbas, if you one day your wife or your wife she throw you out of the house because of me, don't blame me. I mean, come on, you became the joke of everybody. Now, <clears throat> love from Indonesia. Thank you, my friend from Indonesia. I love all the people from Indonesia, by the way. And I'm so happy to see a lot of people leaving Islam from Indonesia. I received tons and tons of messages in Skype, but they cannot answer everybody. I really apologize. I mean, I open my Skype, you will not believe it. My Skype is like a volcano, you know, you know, like uh, uh, you open it and the, and the message will start pop up, pop, 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 pop. It's like a, like a gun machine. Hundreds of like of messages, they come and then how you can answer everybody. It's impossible. Uh, Thank you, my friend. I love everybody from Indonesia. From I receive messages from Thailand, from Philippines, from India, from uh, for sure from Europe, from everywhere. God, God is good, and we are helping people to get out of this cult. Now, let us go back to the comments of the Abdul. <clears throat> I like the comments of the Abdul. Honestly, I really like them. So this guy, he said. <clears throat> Uh, we answer you about Abdul. Abdul is what your book uh, call you, not me. You know, I'm not calling you Abdul. This is a name chosen to you by Allah. He keeps talking about Islam. I want to see a CP defend his own retarded man worshiping religion. Hold on, hold on. The one who worship a man is retarded. Let us make an agreement. Is that fair, guys? Let us make an agreement with the Muslims. The one who worship a man is retarded. We don't worship man. We worship God. Jesus is God. We don't worship a man. We worship God. The word of God became a flesh. That's what the Bible says. But it is you who worship a man. And we can prove it easy. If Allah says something and Muhammad says something, which one you follow? Muhammad. And we can show you endless numbers of reference of what we are saying. Allah in the Quran says, You do muta. Muhammad later he says, Don't do muta. Which one you follow? Muhammad. And we can keep going forever. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He can cancel the word of his God and he can change his orders. Have you ever heard of a prophet claiming that if you obey me, you obey Allah? Why? Who are you? Muhammad here replace Allah. Have you ever heard of a prophet? His name is the praised one. If Muhammad is the praised one, so who is who is Allah? Praised one must be God. No man should be praised one unless you are worshiping Jesus. Supposedly, you just said that the one who worship a man is retarded. Well, for us, God, He came to us as a man in the person of a man. And you said that the one who do that is retarded. So how you obey a man, and by obeying a man, you obey Allah. It's not by obeying Allah, you obey a man. No, by obeying the man, Muhammad, you obey Allah. Chapter 44, verse number 80. He who obeyed Allah, the Allah messenger, he obeyed Allah. But Muhammad is a sinner man. In order for you to accept that this is really the right thing to do, then you have to believe that Muhammad is a perfect uh, uh, creation. Or let us say he's a perfect person. Correct, guys? To give Muhammad license to be obeyed in whatever he say, 
and the one who obey Muhammad, he obey Allah. That's mean Muhammad and Allah is equal. If I say now to the people listening to me, if you obey Christian prince and obey God, if you obey me, obey God. That's mean I am I am God. I simply I'm saying that because you you claim that you come first, and obeying you is from the obedience of God. You are a person of God in earth. In other way, you are God in earth. This is what Muhammad he you know he claimed. He claimed to be servant of Allah, and but yet the servant he replaced Allah. How you can say, if you obey Muhammad, you obey God? That's not true. Especially the Quran says clearly that Muhammad is a sinner man. Chapter 48, verse number 2. A man who have sinned in the future, he have sinned in the past, forgiven by Allah, open license for sin. And then you say to me, whoever obey the prophet, obey Allah. So we obey a sinner, and by obeying a sinner, we obey Allah? Do you see it, guys? Muhammad is not a servant of God. Actually, Allah, he is the servant of Muhammad. You Muslim, you should change the shahada, make it, there's no God but Muhammad, and there's no servant but Allah. And this is why Aisha, she got Muhammad busted many times. As an example, when Muhammad, he make a chapter about his testicles, claiming that any woman she can give herself so he can if her, Aisha, she said, I see that your God, he rush into your desire Muhammad do you see it God he rush into your desire Muhammad read carefully Muhammad he make verses saying that any woman she can give herself so the prophet he can if her excuse my language first of all why the prophet he need to make verses claiming that Allah he made them saying that any woman she can give herself to the prophet as a gift for sex you claim it's a marriage, it's for sex. We know what it is. It doesn't say even to marry her, it says the yankahaha. Yes, thank you, actually, not even yankahaha. Yes, thank you, what a shame. What a filthy word. Look at this verse. All this verse, supposedly Allah, he went to his kitchen and he started writing, saying, Oh Muhammad, you can if the following women. Starting from your wives, I mean, thank you, Allah, for telling me finally I can F my wife because before you I do not know that. I mean, look at this wisdom here. Allah, you need to tell Muhammad that you can have sex with your wives. Thank you. Really, really, thank you. <laughs> and then he continues saying. And any women who you own in your hand, the slaves you capture them, the women you kidnap them from their family, you can you can have them too. And then he continue, and any women, any any daughters of your uncle's father's side, your mother uncle's side, your other side, 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 all of this explained by Allah to Muhammad. But this is something everybody knows. The Arab they used to marry their cousins even before Islam. And Muhammad is just uh, what is that? This, this is about marriage. It says just thank you. And look here, it says, and I give you a privilege. It is a privilege. Any believing women, she give herself to the Prophet if he die, desire to if her, not to marry her, as a privilege. Why God he need to make a verse for a man he have already 13 wives and he have hundreds of sex slaves Adding to them saying any women she can give herself what that will do to Islam. What does have to do with religion?
any Muslim can tell me what that have to do with religion hmm? why God supposedly in this case Allah is concerned <laughs> about making a license saying to Muslim women they can offer themselves to the Prophet so he can have sex with them what that will do with God what that to do with the message of a prophet he's busy he should be busy I mean he have already 13 wives the guy is not single like uh, uh, is he sure of uh, of uh, of women is, is, if he's short as is he like uh, out of them uh, Muhammad is he cannot find a wife or something why are you making this verse what the business of God to make such a verse nothing except Muhammad making this verse this is why Aisha she said to him <laughs> you know what I am NOT a fool I see that your Lord he seemed to me that your Lord has to to testify to satisfy your desire do you see it what the purpose of Allah testify so, or uh, satisfy sorry Allah, he worked for Muhammad. It's not the opposite. Hmm? A Muslim saying to me, "Die in your rage." My Muslim, my Muslim friend, I am not the one is dying from my rage. It's you. It's you dying from your rage. Go and see Islamic countries; they are dying from their rage. Somebody make cartoon, you go crazy. Somebody make a song, you go crazy. Somebody sing in the mosque, you go crazy. I mean, you go crazy every day. We are relaxed. I accept, I accept. Guys, he said to me, I accept Islam. Yeah, I accept. I want to get the 72 versions. But can you show me uh, one finger of them first? You Muslims worship unknown God. All what you know, his name, even his name is not known for you. What Allah mean, you do not know. Guys, let, 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 let's ask this guy. His name is Muawiyah. Do you know what Muawiyah mean? Hey, Abdul, your name is Muawiyah. Let me show you how much smart you are. Your name is Muawiyah. What Muawiyah mean? I bet you, you do not know what your, your name means. Muawiyah. Muawiyah, how you call yourself Muawiyah? This guy is the one who killed Muhammad's family. His family is the are the one who slaughtered Muhammad's family. What Muawiyah mean? Do you know? Or you just copy a name and you put it in the top of your head and you do not know what the word mean? Are you there, Muawiyah? What Muawiyah mean? Don't tell me you do not know. You can search Google. <laughs> huh? What Muawiyah mean? <coughs> do you know? Muawiyah is a dog. Actually, it's not a dog, you know, in, the, in English, it's the bitch, which is a female dog. This is what Muawiyah mean. So why you are calling yourself Muawiyah? I will tell you why, because you do not know what the name means. I'm sure you are proud to be Muawiyah. You think it's like a great name, right? The fact it's a bitch. Excuse my language. Am I lying? Or is it the truth, Muawiyah?
And I have to do it. So look at this. Aisha, she got Muhammad busted. Muhammad, he used his God for his sexual desire. He claimed always, he claimed, it's not me who won that. I mean, it's God. You ask the Muslims why Muhammad, he, uh, he desired a child like Aisha. It's not him. He saw a dream. Allah came to him in a vision. He's, he showed him a dream that he will marry Aisha, brother. Always, oh, Allah want Muhammad to marry Aisha. Allah want Muhammad to F every woman in town. It's Allah. It's not Muhammad. You get it wrong, brother. Muhammad is just a slave of Allah. Allah want him to F everybody. Allah, Muhammad, he just do what Allah want. Hmm? Uh, let Abbas call me. All right. Just because of you. <clears throat> Guys, Abbas want to call me. W what we can do now? <coughs> Abbas, call me. Let us see Abbas. Abbas, we are Abbas. Let us see. Fix the audio. Okay, Abbas, you can call now. My Skype is open. Um, let us see here. Abbas, we are Abbas. Call me Abbas. Abbas. No, oh, Abbas will not call me unless I call him three times because he's the same as the prophet. He likes to be called three times. The angel Jibreel, when he came to the prophet, he squeezed him three times. Should I squeeze Abbas three times too? What do you mean you cannot? Isn't it your name, Abbas Aga? Isn't that your name? This is the name I have in here. Aga Abbas. This is your name in the front of me. And here I see a picture, and this is supposedly you. So well, what is that? What do you mean you cannot? Why you cannot? Mm, let me call you. I will call you. Here we go. I'm calling Abbas, guys. Here we go. Am, am I calling him? Here we go. He's not even online. He's not even online. The guy, he keep complaining about calling him, and he's not even online. Let me call you. Let me call you. Let me call you. The Abbas, he, he, he's like a Muslim. He would have won the lotto, but he didn't ever buy it. He keep asking Allah to make him win the lotto. Allah, please make me win the lotto. The first year, the second year, the year after, 10 years, and then Allah, he found out that Muhammad never bought the lotto to make him win it. Uh, Abbas must be driving now. Are you driving, Abbas? Abbas, what are you doing for a living? Are you, are you delivering pizza like, like Jibreel? So all this time saying to me, I want to call you, I want to call you, and now you are not even online? what do you mean wait so you are saying to me i want to call you answer you know when people they see the text you think that this guy he called me like a thousand times and the christian prince is not answering the guy is not even online <coughs> actually if i pass call i will give him something very easy And because Abbas is very well known that he is super, I mean, special person. 
He's a special person, at least for his mom. As an example, my mom, she used to say that I am the most handsome person in the town. Me, I you believe it. <laughs> this is how the mothers, they see their kids, brother. I swear by Allah, brother, I go inside the classroom, all the children, they run away because they get scared. But yet my mother, she think I am the best looking kid in the town. And Abbas, uh, his mom, she think he is the smartest person. I'm sure uh, uh, the mother of Abbas, she go between her neighbors and she say, you should see my son. He called that guy, his name is a Christian Prince. He grabbed him from his nose. His nose actually now became like an elephant nose because my son keep grabbing him from his nose. And the neighbor, she say, yeah, yeah, your son is the best. Are you kidding me? I know it. We saw it. We have it. We download it. Even we publish it. Abbas, where are you? Should I hang up in Skype? Should I go home? Let me try to call him again. <coughs> and look at this beard. You, you see this guy, he think like he's a this guy is a is a <laughs> is a big shake. <laughs> what a shaky guy. Hey. Anyway, let him go. This guy is just a kid. So, you see, uh, Muslims they complain, but you do not know about what. The only way, the only way to make Muslims happy is just to say shahada, to believe, not to believe. It's not important to know what Allah is, but it's not important. Not a single Muslim can tell me what even the word Allah means. It is not an Arabic word. Allah is not an Arabic God. And those people are blind people. They are just following, worshiping a name. They do not know what it does mean. Hey Abbas, are you driving? Yeah, hello. Are you driving, Abbas? No, I'm not. Um, basically, you blocked me uh, from this account, so I have to build another account. Mm. And from that account, I just couldn't call you. So no. I had to recover this account back again. Oh, okay, no problem. So, anyway, so Abbas. Anyway. 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 Anyway, first of all, a um, mm. um, few things. Well, are you all right? Your blood pressure is fine because mostly when I speak to you, you got just a bit uh, hyper and I, I, I care for your health, you know? You care for my health? Really? Yeah, yeah, I don't want you to have a. Do, do you have Do you have some you know? camel urine with you? So in case like yeah, I, my blood pressure go up, I can drink camel urine, brother. No, I don't have it. Why do you don't have? It? Okay, are you telling me yeah. you don't buy camel urine? Yeah. Why you don't? Okay, anyway. Uh, no, no, no. Why anyway? No, 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 no. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Why you don't buy camel urine? Aren't you? Are you saying you are not convinced with the medicine of your prophet? Uh, that medicine was I told you before as well. I think you have a bad memory. Was, was, what? Was, was, what? was what? Was what? Was what? Those people who have a very serious stomach illness. That was only for them. I told you. Only before, for you, them. You forgot. Only for them. Absolutely, only for them. Uh -huh. Okay. So, well, so ho okay. Hold on. Hold on. Ever, okay. Hold on. Hold. Hold on. Okay, okay. Hold on. So are you saying that you Muslims? Okay. Are you saying to? Are you saying to me that you Muslims? You don't buy camel urine, all of you, and drink it. Uh, Muslims also buy alcohol as well. They drink alcohol. What it has to do with Islam? Your prophet can use to make even alcohol. That's not the question. I'm asking you. Are, you, are, question, you are saying to me, bad. you are saying to me that this was only an order for this group of people, and they are sick, correct? Um, I will answer you that, but before that, I want to say something. Mm. I've been say holding that for many something. days. Say something. For many many days, and I was very cross with you. Uh, you have called my noble sister Zara. You call her whore. Who is your noble sister Zara? Muslim Muslim sister, the one who called. Uh, on, I don't know her, but she's my Muslim sister. You call her a whore. I mean, what mm. kind of a man 
call mm. another woman a whore. Okay, I want, she, I, I want you. To, I want. I want to ask you. I want to ask you. Did you your, need to apologize. Did, you know, okay, hold on. Did your prophet says a woman she put a perfume, she is a whore. Did your prophet says that a woman voice is a aura, which means if she speak to a strange man, she is a whore. Do you agree with him? What kind of a prophet? He say that a, your mother, if she speak to me, she is a whore. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? I'm asking you. Oh, now it's okay. No, you see, you see, hold on, 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 hold on. You see, you see, no, the 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 whore for me, the whore for me is every liar. The whore is not about doing sex. The whore, this is what the Bible teach that even the earth committed adultery, even the earth became a whore. This is about lying. Everybody became a liar. Everybody became fake. So because you are a person who only think about sex, because this is what Islam is about. Now, because I got you busted, your prophet is the one who called her a whore. You're a prophet. He said the women voice is a aura. And if she speaks to a stranger, she is a whore. You're a prophet says a woman, if she passed by the street, she is a she is a devil. Your prophet says if a woman, she would perfume and she passed in the front of people, she is a whore. The second I mentioned that to you, you say to me, are you Christian or a Muslim? So you are saying to me a second ago, you said, what kind of a man? Everybody heard you. What kind of a man? He called a woman a whore. Now I'm asking you, right. what kind of a man your prophet is? What kind of a man your prophet is calling a woman a whore for having a perfume? I will answer that. I will answer that. But you call yourself a Christian prince, mm. meaning you're a follower of Christ. Mm. Christ is the man who even a woman who considered herself to be whore, he didn't even call her whore, mm. a Samaritan woman. Yeah, mm. He didn't even call her whore. Mm. Yes, but you call yourself a Christian mm. prince. No, you I'm calling the, uh, people with I call I, I call that person a whore for no hold on hold on hold on I called her because she is lying right she wasn't lying she was lying I was I was asking lying. about I was asking about the pact of Omar yeah and he was she was telling you pact of Umar of Jerusalem but well, you were giving a pact of Umar in Syria it was a two different pacts stupid there's nothing it's called pact of Omar in Syria you were not giving uh, Jerusalem. Stupid! One. You were giving stupid! The other there's one. no pact. Of, there's no pact of Omar in Syria. You donkey. So which one were you giving? <laughs> there's nothing. It's called pact of Omar in Syria. You just said I was giving the pact of Omar in Syria. Okay. okay. Maybe it was not Syria, but you were not talking so about again. Jerusalem. Again, I agree that you are a donkey. Agree. The pact of Omar is the one signed between uh, Omar and those he he captured them in Jerusalem. So you are a donkey again. Now I'm asking you. Why no, she no, deny? No, no. Why she deny? Hold on. Why she deny? Why she deny the pact of Omar? Unless she is a liar, and a liar, the Bible says, uh, the the Bible says, the Bible call liars. They are whore. Anyone who is who is a liar is a whore. So I'm asking you, are you a whore too? So the one. The I'm one asking you, are you a whore too? Okay. Are you going one. to deny? Are tell you going one. to deny the pact of Omar, which he made? Um, I, no, don't change the topic. I'll, I'll no, 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 you are the one who opened the away. topic. We wanna finish it. Hold on. Are you a whore, or you are a decent person who wanna say yes? Omar al Khattab he made or the pact of Omar to I'm ensure the humiliation of the Christians. Yes or no? Okay, I'm not going to let you run away from it. Hmm. Jesus he didn't call a woman whore who was actually a whore. In a true sense, because he forgive her, because he's God, but Jesus, oh, but oh, Je okay, hold on. You see, I just answer you. I just answer you. I did not call her a whore because she was having sex around. I called her a whore. It's a metaphorical for liars. Now I'm asking you. The Bible well, says, "Are you a whore? You are the whore. I'm not lying. You are the whore." Here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. I, I say it to you. I, I asked her about the pact of Omar. You said I gave her the pact of Omar in Syria. You are a donkey. <laughs> so you are a whore. You are lying. Here we go. This is the pact of Omar. I show her in the screen. Chapter 9, verse 28, 29. And you can go watch the video. It's in the front of you. Why you are lying? You Why you became a whore today? Answer me. Here we go. You are a liar and you are again doing what whore do. What whore? Whore is not only a woman, by the way. This is Islamic version of the story. Whore is anyone who share his life with the devil, which means his purpose of life to be a liar, to be cheap, to be for sale. You are a whore like everyone else who sell himself for the devil, and he don't, and he deny the truth. It's in the front of you on the screen. This is no, the pact of Omar. This is the pact of Omar. I want you to read it. I want you to apologize for being a whore, and promise me you will not be a whore again. Go ahead. Can I speak now? No, I want you to read it. 
Is that the pact of Omar in front of us? There's nothing on the screen. Screen is blank. Is it blank? Blank? Uh, okay, yeah. sorry. Oh, forgive me. Okay, now you see it. Uh, Do you see it? Okay. Is that the uh, the the pact of Omar? It hasn't come through yet. Mm. This is exactly what I show your uh, uh, Zahra <laughs> in the screen, okay. and you said to me that why you are doing that? Huh? Here we go. You are doing the same as she did. You are denying. Can I, can I see something? Can no, you can say no, 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 you cannot say anything. I, I want you to read speak? it. Did did I tell the truth when I said to Zahra you are a liar? Yes or no? Am I allowed to speak? Did I tell Zahra I want you to answer? Did I say I, I, I was upset from her because she is a liar? And you now support her and you said I gave her the pact of Omar in Syria, which is proving to me that you are a donkey. This is what I gave her. Are, it's in the screen, really it's in the front of you. I want you to read it. This is I why. The prophet hey, said, I, the, the prophet I said, I, no, say. I want you to read and I want you to agree that you are a whore. Because you just deny the same exact what she denied too. I am not. How about that? Well, okay, you just said I to me, no, you are, you are, you are because you deny. You said I did lie. You said to me, you, everybody heard you. You said I gave her the pact of Omar in Syria, which is, which is funny. This is what I gave her. It's in the front of you on the screen. And you, you can read by little, yourself. This is Ibn Kathir. Child, man. This is Ibn Kathir. I want you to read it. You, you know, don't hang up. You know, the, the, in the, I am not. I in the, in the, in never in, hang up. Oh, 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 speaker I'm corner. Here I go. I'm driving now. Okay, then read. I'm, you said I gave her. Up. Everybody heard you saying I gave her the pact of Omar in Syria. Everybody heard you. They are a donkey, and you are a liar, and you are being a whore. Otherwise, apologize for lying and say yes. You are right. CP. This is the pact of Omar of Jerusalem. Go ahead, read. Can I say something? No, you cannot say something. You have to I, answer first. Oh, you have to an, you have to answer first. Stop, stop, stop being a donkey. You have to answer first. Admit that you are not being honest. This is always what you do. You talk over, and then you you know what you say in the end. At the it, end, it, it just go at, away. at the you're end, like, at the like, end, you are a kid. Here we go, guys. You see, is he is 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 he running away? Why you don't want to no. answer? You are the one. You are the one who opened the topic. You are the one who said to me, "Why you call Zahra such a name?" I'm not calling her such a name. She deserves it, and you deserve it too. Okay. Otherwise, ask you a question. And, okay. and, no, don't ask Let's me a question. Talk. Finish the topic first. You are the one who asked me the question. You don't change the topic. You are a coward. I, is it I'm true? Is it true? Is it true? What I gave to Zahra? Yes or no? You are not giving me a chance to speak. What's no, no, no. I'm not going to give you a chance. I want you to answer, not speak only. This is the, it's, it's in the front of you. Is that the pact of Omar to the people of Jerusalem to humiliate them, to 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 to, to torture them, to 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 uh, ensure that they are not respected? Yes or no? I prove it to you. You're a liar. If you give me twenty seconds, I will I give you. I you. will give you a twenty minute start reading. No, twenty seconds. No, twenty so minutes. I, you start reading. I want you to start reading, and then you answer after you read. There is no point in reading. No, there there's are. a point. No, there's a point because this is about Jerusalem and you are a liar. Read it. If you give me 20 seconds and if I can't prove No, you, liar, why you I don't want to read your book? Okay. Why you don't, I'm using an evidence against you. You don't want to read the evidence? No, I have no problem reading it. But the, this is not the Then read it. No, 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 no. Here we go. You are the one who called me and you are the one who said to me why you said that. I am answering you now. Now it's your respond. I want you to read it. I said, here we go. This is the evidence. That's what I gave her. And that's why I call her in, uh, that name she because she deserves it and you deserve it too if you don't read it if you don't accept that this is about Jerusalem that's mean you are a whore guys you see he's not letting me speak what can I do no I'm not letting you speak because you are trying to run away from reading it I'm not why don't I read it then go read it go ahead I, I just said to you please read it all and then can, give me that you give me two seconds then I will do read whatever you want me you to promise you, me you, you promise I can. I promise. Okay, go. You have 20 seconds. Okay, 20 seconds. This, uh, you are you are wrong because the day you call her whore, you were you, they were not, you were not talking about the pact. You were, she was talking about what happened in New Zealand, and you were talking about the terrorism, and she was angry and cross with you. With what you are a liar. Give me the video. I will play it. No, you are a liar again. You are being a whore again. This is because this is because I asked her about the pact of Omar, and she said oh. I never heard of it. You are a liar again. Now, this is another time you spoke to her. When you call her a whore, mm. that day he was not talking about the pact. He was talking about the news. Give me the video, I will play it. And you are a whore again. You get busted. Give me the video, I will play it. I don't have the video. Then you shut up. The then you are stupid. I mean, look like you. Now, now you gave me 20 seconds. I gave you 20 seconds to answer. You are done. 
Go answer, please. Read. You say to me now, look, listen, listen. You, you call me just to show you how stupid you are. You call, guys, when he called me, did he say that you gave her the pact of Syria? Did he say that? Now he's saying this is not about the pact. Uh, the, 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 look, at, look at this stupid. I mean, you are, the, you are the one who said to me, when she called you, you she, she, the, the reason you accuse her of lying, you are lying. You said to me, you are lying because you gave her the pact of Syria. I want you to give me the pact of Syria, you donkey. Previous, uh, what is the pact of Syria, you donkey? That day you didn't call her whore. <laughs> no, Abdul, her. listen, listen, listen. Now, I want you to read. You did lie and you said, I gave her the pact of Syria. And you said, I'm liar. I want you, you either to apologize, be a man. Say to us, when I called you today, I was I was planning to be a whore. Thank you, Christian Prince, for spanking me and correcting me. And I promise you, I will not be a whore again. Now read. Either you admit that this is about Jerusalem or you admit Thank that you are a whore. Thanking me, thanking me for what? What are you talking? Because about? you said this is not about Jerusalem. Tell me one thing. See, no, don't tell me one thing. I, don't tell me I, nothing. I, don't tell me not something. No, no, not something. Not something. Is that about? Is that about? Is that about Jerusalem? Is that about Jerusalem? Yes or no? If I am wrong, about is that about Jerusalem? No, don't me if I'm wrong. No, don't tell me you are. If I am wrong, you said to me you accused me to be a liar. You were sure a second ago. You are sure you said to me that I gave her sure. the pact of Omar in Syria, which is a stupid to say. That's look that we talk about a mistake. Yeah, the pact of Syria. Is a what mistake? mistake? So now mistake. it's a mistake. You call me a liar, and but you are the donkey. So say you are a donkey who who talk about a topic like you do not know what it is. So look at this guy, guys. He, he is thinking like, about calling me man. for the last month. Look, 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 look at this donkey. Hold on. This this donkey is thinking about calling me for the last month to talk about this topic. And when he called me, he said that now he made a mistake. He was a donkey. He thought it's about, he thought there's something is called the Pact of Syria. And, turn, and, and this is what I asked her. It turned to me that he was a donkey and I was right. Is that what you are saying? It was not a pact of Syria I was thinking about. I was thinking about what you call her a whore. Abdul, no, this is what you said. Everybody heard you. I said, I asked her about, and she denied the pact of Omar. And I, and you said, yes, because you gave her the pact of Syria. <laughs> that, was, that was a conversation. Do you, do you see why I hang up on you? You are just a kid. I'm the kid. Okay. I'm having all right. the patience with you. Look at you. Here we go. Okay, now why you don't admit that this is the pact of Omar in Jerusalem? Can you say that, please? You are such a child can you say that please can you say can you say that uh, uh, abbas with the long beard is an idiot of the village and he thought that this is something called the pact of syria it turned to be the pact of omar and christian prince is right okay so well, this is a pact of omar yes this okay is omar, to, yes. to where to where to where to, is that jerusalem is that jerusalem Tell me tell me one thing did you call her a whore when you're talking about and you are a whore too and you are a whore too did you call her and you are a whore yes i call her and i call you no no you didn't no i call no i call you too you didn't i call you no her i'm talking about that no no and you 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 are the same because both of you you commit the same crime both of you you lie you said uh, you said there's no such a thing so somebody made if somebody make a mistake that's a whore as well yeah? no because they are lying i'm showing it in the screen and yet they deny it how you can somebody, deny something i show it to you from your book that's mean you are a whore you see, if you are making a mistake, no, 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 no. There's a huge difference between mistake and insisting of lines. Every, she, they are the one who mentioned to me the pact of Omar. She is the one, the pact of Omar. When Omar he entered, you know, he treated the Christian nice. So I said, okay, let's show you the pact of Omar. The same but as you she, did now. When you, call, when you call her name. Abdul, 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 you are a donkey. Why you don't admit? Okay, now it's, it's, hold on, hold on. I want you to ask, I want to, I want to ask you. What kind of what kind of a man? You are the one who said what kind of a man he called a woman a whore. I'm asking you, what kind of a man he say that a Muslim woman is a whore if she wear a perfume? Okay. You are definitely not a Christian. I'm asking you. Christ. No, I am a Christian. No, no, I'm following the I'm following the Bible. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. What kind of a prophet? You are the one who asked me the same question. What kind of a prophet he called your mother a whore if she put a perfume in the front of men? So your mother, she go to the mall and she have perfume according to your prophet. She is a whore. Do you agree with your prophet? Uh, he call her a whore, yeah? Call the yeah. woman a whore who mm -hmm. wear perfume. Yes, just for having perfume. Okay. Yes or no? Show me the hadith. What do you mean show me the hadith? Uh, uh, tomorrow I will show it to you. That hadith. And uh, Anas narrated some people from Urania arrived in Al Madina and they were uncomfortable with the climate. Well, this is, what this the... Is the what uh, what a climate? 
Uh, this on the screen is about the union. Oh, that one. That one is old, my friend. I will get here. We go. I, I was waking up your prophet from the grave, and now he gave me the hadith. Read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's already alive, man. Don't worry about that. Yeah, he's already alive. This that's a lie, my friend. Even your prophet, he says, I am I will be the first to be resurrected. So he's dead. Stop lying. Let's see the word we're looking for. Now read the hadith. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Let everybody laugh at you. What kind of a prophet he consider women a whore if she have a perfume? I'm reading. Read it. Go ahead. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, any woman who puts on perfume then passes by people so that they can smell her fragrance, then she is an adulteress. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So is an adulteress. She is a whore. She is a whore. Zania. Zania. Whore. This is the word Zania whore. She is a whore. What a what a daughter is mean. What a daughter is mean. What a daughter is mean. A whore. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Now, now, now. Why, if a woman she have a perfume and people they smell her perfume, she is a whore. No, because he said this will happen. This will, this will follow. Well, this will why? Happen. Why you this Muslim? Will... Why are you saying to me you Muslim men like dogs? You you sniff and you walk. Oh. Just a woman, a woman walk by. She have a perfume. You sniff like a like a dog and you start sniffing her ass. I mean, what do you mean they follow? What do you what do you mean? She is just a woman yeah. putting a perfume. Your prophet he used to put perfume, right? Yes. When Jesus so, says, no, I, hold on, shut up, shut up, shut up. Why you're a prophet when he put a perfume, he is not a whore. But when a woman she put a perfume, she's a whore. I'm answering, I'm answering you. Mm, okay. Right? Because when Jesus says, if you look at the woman, you already commit adultery. Mm. That means you. No, did no, Jesus did not say that. No, 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 no. You are a liar. No, you are a liar. You're a pro No, don't lie. Jesus okay. said, if you wish to have a woman, she is not yours. Look at the women. It's not about looking at the women. You are a liar. You are you are you are misquoting the Bible. It's about desiring a woman. She is not yours. Here, a woman she walks. Shut up! Shut up, liar, donkey! Why you're a prophet? Why you're a prophet? He can put a perfume, and he is not a whore. But if your mother she put a perfume, she is a whore. Baba, prophet put the perfume. What are you talking about? Prophet put the perfume. He's talking about the women here. I'm asking. Because are you saying to me your prophet he did not? Your prophet did not uh, have, uh, use perfume. Of course, he used perfume, and he told okay. men to use. So why? To to okay. So why you're a prophet? He can use perfume, but if a woman and he is not a whore, uh, 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 <laughs> but if a woman she use it, <laughs> she is a whore. I'm, I'm going to give answer because this is why I always say you have a lot of information but very little knowledge because you don't think through things. You oh. don't think deep. Okay, go on. Uh, take us through, brother. Brother, you take us through. I, Mm. There is a difference between men and women. Yeah, like a man, mm. if he is wearing a, a t-shirt mm. or wearing a, like you know a <coughs> shorts up to the knees, uh, walking in the middle. Even man wearing underwear, walking in the middle of the street, and there are four women standing on the corner. Man has no fear. Man will not fear that women are going to rape him or anything will happen to him. Mm. But same thing if you reverse, a so woman do that. Chances are, if they're a good man, that's fine. But if there's a bad man. The chances are the woman will be attacked and woman can be mm. abused or raped. Mm. So there's a difference here. So when man So you are saying to me, you are saying to me that you Muslim men, if you see if you smell some perfume, you go crazy and you rape women. And you are saying to me it's not only uh, let, let me show you how any stupid man, what you just man. said. No, let me show you what you what how any stupid man. what you let me show you how is stupid what you said. You're a prophet, he did not say he can say, Don't put perfume and get out so men they might harm you. He did not say that. He said the women she but perfume she is a whore, and there's a huge difference. He can he can guide the he can no 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 listen listen. Secondly secondly, what about women kidnapping your prophet and raping him? Yeah, does he it but, happen? He but perfume it can happen. Why not? Yes, there's I I heard the stories about women they kidnap men and they rape them. Yes, that's true. Now, does it happen to yes you know actually I read a story just last summer about a woman <laughs> she she put a knife in the in the neck of the dry the taxi driver and she forced him to have sex with her <laughs> you believe it or not so look at look at the stupidity of your prophet look how insulting look how insulting look how insulting your prophet is your prophet saying if a woman she put perfume she is a whore but he encouraged himself and look what he said he said my favorite thing in the world is perfume and women is that true my favorite thing yeah why not so the prophet he can say everything well. guys look at this look at this my favorite thing H hold on <laughs> your prophet says my favorite my favorite things in this earth is women and perfume but if a woman she have a perfume she is a whore look what he's saying he's saying look what he's how saying he is saying women he was he loved women 
He love women. Well, okay, so um, uh, Muhammad can be womanizer, <laughs> but if a woman, if a woman, she want to attract men, you said to me, if she wore perfume, she's attracting men, right? So your prophet, he put perfume to attract women. He's a womanizer, and he say that loud and clear. But yet he is not a whore. But if a woman she just by adding a perfume, she is a whore. Okay, he. Look, I told you exactly why. What's the difference here? No, the no. You are a liar, my friend. No, you are a liar. You are a liar. You are a big fat liar. I, I, can you quote for me a case where in, in a, uh, no, no? Can you show me a case? Can you show me a case where in Arabia a woman she have a perfume in the time of your prophet and people rape her because she have a perfume? Uh, do you agree that women wearing a perfume too much attracts men? You agree? What? No, the, the nice uh, smell people put perfume because they want to smell good. I mean, hold on, hold on. Uh, if every woman she put a perfume just because of a man, that's stupid of you to say. Secondly, the women she have the right the same as the man. Why the man he can have smell good, but the women she can't smell good. The women she can be tempted by a man too. So you put a perfume, you are tempting women. So why she she is guilty of tempting men, but you are not guilty of tempting women. Do you do you agree that prophet many times give advice rather than commandments? Uh, the prophet never give advice. Your prophet yeah. is your prophet. Your prophet is a perverted man. Let me give you the advice. You're a prophet. He said. You're a prophet. You're. A, okay. Let me ask you. Is your prophet never give advice? Do you believe that your mother is the devil? No, no. You said. Do you believe that your mother? Do you believe that your mother is the devil? She come in the image of the devil and she live in the image of the devil. Be a man. Don't be CB, do CB. Don't CB me. Don't CB me. I'm asking you. Your prophet say this is the advice of your prophet. Read carefully. Your prophet no, no, was sitting. Shut, shut up. Shut advice. up. Shh, 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 shut you, up. Listen, sure guys. Look at this. The prophet. No, he saw a no. woman. This this woman is not even wearing a perfume. The prophet of Allah. He he just quote for me that Jesus said, if you wish a woman she is not yours, you committed adultery. Muhammad is adulterer according to to, to Jesus. Woman, shut up, shut like up, shut up. No, if you see a woman, you desire her. It's not a woman. People, they see women in the street all day long. This is what Jesus is talking about. Don't lie. If you desire a woman, she is not yours. It's better for you to unblock your eye from going to hellfire. Look what your prophet did. Your prophet yeah. is married. Women, she walk by and he have his friends sitting with him. Muhammad, he keeps staring at her until he got horny. There's no way by seeing a woman, you get horny right away. Even donkeys don't do that. So look what happened to your prophet. He saw a woman. So he come to his wife Zainab and she was busy doing tanning for the leather, which means she is busy. She's really busy. And he has sexual intercourse with her. It's like a donkey stuff. You don't like it. It's not like time to go to bed. She is busy. No, take off your panty, lift up your legs. I saw a woman in the street. I want to do you. That's how it is. And then look, he came back. Now Muhammad is done. So Muhammad now he got his desire done because what? Because he saw a woman. She is not his wife. And then he said, the women she advances and retires in the shape of the devil. Do you agree that your prophet saying so that you your mother? You don't, uh, are you don't agreeing? Know. Are you agreeing that your mother she retire and advance in the shape of the devil? Zippy Zippy, can I ask you something? No, you cannot. You I want you to answer me, ZB ZB. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> get lost, kid. Get lost. Get lost. You see why I block you? Yeah, it's just a donkey. And now the the people in speaker corners they will take this video and they will make fun of you for the coming two months. And you are a whore. A whore is anyone is a liar. The whore of Babylon. Maybe you do not even know what does that mean. Those who sleep with the devil, they are a whore. That's what whore is about. It's not about only about sex. And this is your prophet, and this is your hypocrisy. What kind of a prophet, what kind of a man he call a woman a whore? This is what you said to me. Uh, my blood pressure is very okay. <laughs> uh, Christian Prince, is your blood pressure? Yes, brother. I have a camera you're in here, brother. <laughs> mm. Stupid idiot. 
I feel sorry that imagine this guy he is married he have kids I feel sorry for your family the women she advances and retires in the shape of the devil what a shameful man how dare you are you saying to me Muhammad that your mother she is a shape of a devil is that what a man he says about his his his, his mother hmm I am not fair enough I will never be fair enough with liars if you are committed to say a lie I will spank you fair enough with a liar he says to me I gave her the pact of Omar in Syria what a donkey and he refused to read and he promised me he will read he, re he never he never read because he's ashamed of it the prophet said don't initiate the salam to the Jews and the Christians and if you meet any of them force them to the most narrow alley which means the prophet of the most peaceful prophet teaching the Muslims the good ethic if you see a Christian in the street push him to walk in the sewage this is why the leader of the faithful Umar al Khattab may Allah pleased with him demanded his win well known conditions to be met in the Christians to ensure their humiliation do you see it you are not fair Christian Prince I want to be fair with those who want to ensure my humiliation I have to be fair with the liars who we get them busted no I am being fair I ask him a hundred times to read it they do not know the truth no I don't agree with you they knew the truth they are they are corrupt he knew the truth it's in the front of him but he they have to play as dumb they I, I like you I uh, you know what way where what how how it's not okay for a Christian prince to use the word whore but it's okay for his pro his prophet to call his mother a whore I never saw a single Muslim woman she go in the street without having a perfume which means according to Muhammad every single Muslim woman according to him she is a whore and why the prophet he can have a perfume and yet he is not a whore why what kind of uh, guidance that is why always you blame the women so the women now what we 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 bury her inside the house we put her in the box she cannot have a perfume she cannot take care from her face Muhammad he said if a Muslim woman she take care from her face Allah will curse her so what you want her to be like a monkey so she cannot put a perfume she cannot take her hair, her, her hair from her face not even in front of her husband <laughs> you see the Muslims they always play that I do not know and this guy he is supposedly he want to talk to me about this topic for a month and then after two seconds we get him busted you talk to her about the pact of Syria what pact of Syria what is that What is that, the Pact of Syria? I want to understand. Even Muhammad, he described women are equal to donkeys. Muhammad, he said that three things interrupt a Muslim prayer. What are they? black dog a donkey and a woman and a black dog <clears throat> read carefully when men perform salat and there is nothing in front of him like a post of a saddle or a camel saddle then his salat is uh, served by passing off a black dog a woman and a donkey do you see it You put the women between a black dog and a donkey. 
it's a clearly that the view of women in Islam is disgusting even Muhammad you see the Muslim they say that uh, uh, Islam is against uh, the Muslim they claim that the Bible blame Eve for the sin of Adam this is what they say look what Muhammad is said If not Eve, no women betray her husband. Do you see it? Muhammad, he believed that Eve, she betray her husband. And all women, they betray their husband. All women, they are a whore. What betray her husband? Khanat. What the word in Arabic? Khanat. If not Hawa was a whore, she betray her husband. No women, she will betray her husband. Do you see it? The Prophet never give advice. Well, guys, the, the Prophet never give advice. Let me show you what the Prophet he gave advice for the women. You want to see the advice your Prophet he gave? He gave women advice that they have to give their nipples to be sucked and look at the stupid prophet a woman she if she put a perfume she is a whore if a woman she put a perfume she is a whore but the prophet ordering Muslim women to give their breasts to strangers to suckle them. She is a good woman This is advice and then Aisha she start ordering her nieces and her sisters to give their nipples to strange men to suckle it ten times so they can enter upon her So do you see the advice? Are you there uh, Abbas ibn Farnas? You see the advice? That is the advice of your prophet. A woman, she came to your prophet. She says, "My husband, he 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 have a bad look about the guy who is entering my house, and he is a grown man." The prophet, he said, advising, as you said, no, the prophet he gave advice. But look at his advice. Suckle him. She said, "How I'm going to suckle him, and he's a growing man." So look at this stupid religion. If a woman she put a perfume, she is a whore. But a Muslim woman, she been ordered by the Prophet to give her nipples to a man who is adult. Are you there, Abbas? Do you like this advice, Abbas? Do you like this advice, Abbas? No, you cannot call. I don't want to talk to you no more. You're just a kid. Let your dad call me. I promise you, if your dad called me, I will talk to him. Abbas he said that the Prophet he gave advice we have to admit yes he gave advice but his advice is disgusting and contradicting the ethic the women if she walk by in the street and she have perfume she is a whore but a Muslim woman she been ordered to give her boobs and do drive it through suckling and by the way even the Quran have a verses about the breast this is not only in the hadith but sadly as you remember the goat ate the Quran do you remember the story the goat ate the Quran? May Allah curse that goat. This is was in the Quran about the ten time breastfeeding for adult, as you see. But a goat which is sent by Netanyahu, by the Jews, obviously, she ate the Quran. And now we don't have those verses in the Quran. What do you say? Allah he ordering Muslim women to give their boobs to strangers to suckle them ten different time and they, they will suckle what there's no milk What well, do you think the women she have a faucet of milk there in her breast? Yeah, even goats don't have milk always Females they give milk one day after delivery. They don't have milk 20 uh, 12 months a year <laughs> uh Uh, the one is asking about Patreon. Yes, Patreon is good. 
anyway you anywhere you send donation they take a good amount from it anyway but better yon is better than uh, YouTube what do you say Muslims <coughs> So look here at the at this uh, mad religion. You know the Muslim they keep saying to us women, Muslim women they have to wear burqa. Muslim women, I mean, what burqa? So a woman she cannot show her face, but she can give her boobs. Boobs. Hey sister, can I suckle your boobs? Absolutely, but please don't shake my hands. It's haram. Really? That's that's cool. It's haram to shake hands with Muslim women, brother. But you can shake their boobs and you can suckle them ten days, not ten times only. By the way, you have to do it in two and ten different time. This is why the guy he could not meet Aisha because her sister. She suckled him only three days. She had to do it ten times. Yeah, even if it's nine times and a half. And by the way, nine, ten times is not like you put your mouth in the nipples and you're done. No, you have to keep suckling until you are satisfied. It's a must. So like if you're unsatisfied in ten hours, keep going. Put your head in her lap. <coughs> hey, ZB, are you busy, ZB? Um, don't you see, brother? I'm suckling. Shut up. The husband will come to the house. He will find a man sitting in the couch of his wife in her lap, and he is suckling her boobs. And this is halal. The husband, he cannot be upset. And Aisha, she ordered her sisters, so they will do suckle any man when they enter upon her. She is She have secretary, and the secretary job to have their breast in the table. You are a man, you want to see Aisha, you enter the secretary room, the nursing room, and you suckle the sisters of Aisha. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, are you satisfied? Okay, so this is number one. You have to come tomorrow again, okay? So you have to do that ten times, and that will make her le legal for you to meet her. And yet you are talking about uh, ethic. And yeah, you know, imagine the man, if a woman, she is good looking and she have nice breast and she asks him, are you satisfied, honey? <laughs> Actually, I'm glad that the Muslims are not following this no more. Otherwise, a lot of men, they will convert to Islam. And uh, brother Abbas, he will come back home every day and he will find a long line of men in his door, all the neighborhood. Why this liar CP never showed the two verses after 3330? Uh, uh, okay, I will show you the two verses after 330 and what, what that will do. Guys, why this uh, liar? Don't show the verses after 3, 33, uh, 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 33, 50. I will go, guys, and I will show you the verses after. You are the one who asked for it. Uh, not my fault. Your wish is going to come true. Hmm. Guys, isn't him who asked for this wish? Read with me. Isn't it, this is his wish? Brother? This is his wish, and we have to make the Muslim wish come true. So he's asking us to show what is the verse after number 50. Are you sure? A brother, you want to call a friend before you make such a mistake? Are you sure? Okay, he is sure. Here we go. The verse after 50, it says that you're a prophet. Look what happened, guys. Muhammad, he made the verses saying, any woman, she can give herself to the prophet so he can F her. And then the prophet he got busted a lot of women who is not good looking they start coming so muhammad you have to fix that so look what he says allah told me that any women i like i can if right away and any women i dislike i can differ you are the one who asked me to read the verses after right 
Allah is talking. Allah is saying to Muhammad, women in the verse number 50, women they can offer themselves to you so you can have them. And the verse after it, because women who they are not good looking or old, Muhammad he don't want to sleep with them, so now he, he he have to sleep. Not all the women he will sleep with them. So he will say, Oh Allah, he allow me from those who offer themselves to differ between them. Do you see it? So you are the one who asked me to read the verse after it. Are you happy? What is the guy who said why well, you don't read the verses after? <laughs> Look what happened to the, to Muhammad. Muhammad he says, any woman she's gonna give herself to me. Come, come, just come. And the women they start coming. All of them they are old, who they are looking for security. At that time, there's no retirement. If you don't have a rich husband, powerful husband, you know, you will die from hunger. So they said to themselves, if we sleep with him, we will be considered as his, his women. Yes, we are not his wives, but we will have security forever. So they start lying up in the front of his door. All of them, they are all, don't, nobody want to marry them. And now Muhammad, he found that himself, he got busted. Like what I did to myself. I said any women she can offer herself. I did not say any ugly women. I did not say any old women. Excuse my language. I said, I, I, want, I meant it only beautiful women. So now, in, in order to escape what he did to himself, he fabricated this verse, saying that Allah told me you can differ between those women. Do you see it? Where is the Abdul? He said to me, read it. All you women who did hijrah are lawful, not all believing women. You are a liar, Abdul. It says here clearly. Let me get you busted. Any believing women, you are just a, a, a officially stupid. And a believing woman, if she gave her so that the prophet. So stop lying. Stop lying. And why this is a privilege to Muhammad? What about the Muslim men? They can have the same. Why Muhammad needed such a privilege? Allah concerned about his penis? Hmm? <clears throat> what does this have to do with religion? Correct, guys? What does this have to do with Allah? Why Allah? The man he have already thirteen wives. He have many sex slaves. So what that will do to Islam? What the, what the point? Muhammad should be busy. He have no time even for women. He should be praying, preaching, teaching. No, no, no. Any women she can give herself to the Prophet. What that? What what that concern Allah? He is not showing. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, no, 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 hold on, hold on. It is not allowed to thee to take any women after that, right? Yeah, but he, he opened license. He have already all what he want. What do you mean he, he cannot? He cannot exchange them. But he can have unlimited. Any women, she can give herself to the prophet. Any women. <laughs> and by the way, did you see where it says here you cannot exchange them? Do you know what the Arab used to do? They used to exchange women. They exchange. If you have my book, Six and Allah, you will see that Arab, they used to exchange their wives. And Muhammad, obviously, he was doing the same. Otherwise, you, you tell me, it doesn't say, by the way, just don't change them. What do you mean change them? Are they uh, uh, tools? What change them? What about divorce them? Here it says change them. Any Abdul? Hmm? 
Do we have any Muslim have anything to say? No, no Muslim. Now today, before or before this video, we made a video about that Quran have no single witness, no single witness. Muhammad he saw, supposedly who he claim a man, he came to him in the cave, and that's it. And once Muhammad he saw a man in the corner of his room. And his wife, she did a striptease to prove that this is an angel, if you remember the story. Islam is a stupid religion. No witnesses, not a single witness. Not a single witness. Muhammad, you have no miracles. The Quran even confirmed that. The Muslim, they say, the only miracle Muhammad he have is the Quran. But that will be stupid because the Quran says we never gave Muhammad a miracle. how the Quran can be a miracle if the same verse saying the same Quran saying that Allah gave no miracles chapter 17 verse number 59 Allah he refrained from sending miracles the excuse is what because former generation do not believe in them which is a false excuse we Christians, the Jews, they believe in all the miracles of prophet of God. No miracles. No witnesses, no miracles, no sign, nothing. It's just a speech about, I have a God, and he is all-powerful. And then this God, he make most stupid mistakes. Like the sun set in the murky water, the man have a sperm coming from his backbone, the women have a sperm coming from her ribs. And the day and the moon and the night they run in an orbit and the Sun goes every day from the east to the point to prostrate itself in the dirty water under Allah who was the witnesses to Jesus uh, Satan encounter you see here you, you have you have a, a question the Muslim a Muslim try to, to ask himself a question Jesus he proved himself in every step he walk wherever he go a miracle happened so he's a trustworthy. So I don't believe in Jesus because he said I did only. But always Jesus, he do miracles. He healed the blind. What is the witness? Is the blind himself. <laughs> and people around. He made the one who cannot walk, walk. So if Jesus, he says something, I can believe in him because he proved always that he is the powerful person who can do things. No, nothing happened to anyone. But you're a prophet, he never did have a miracle. The Quran confirmed that he never been sponsored by a miracle. And then he says to us that he received a, a, a child, you know, a Quran from Allah. Who is Allah? We do not know. He himself he never spoke to Allah. Muhammad did not speak to Allah. Huh? The same eighteen's witness in Ten Commandment. The same witness. Tell us the same witness. Well, uh, Musa too. He sponsored himself. God sponsored him with with miracles. All his nation they witnessed the miracle which God gave to Musa. Correct, guys. Musa he proved that he is a person who is sponsored by God. God he split the sea for Musa. What do you want more? Your God he could not split ice cream for Muhammad. Your prophet, he, he saw the eclipse. Let me show you one of the funniest things about your prophet, the false prophet. Your prophet, he saw the eclipse, and he claimed that this was the judgment day. It was just a stupid eclipse. Look at your prophet, the false prophet. He claimed that judgment day is, 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 is in the corner, and the moon split ascender. But there's no moon split, and no judgment day never come. Muhammad he claimed that this is the judgment day started because this is the sign of the judgment day and this was 1400 years ago 
Do you see it? <coughs> hmm? The moon is split? There's no moon split. And there's no judgment day. False verse. It was just the eclipse. This is why your prophet, he when he see the eclipse, he go crazy. Uh, did God type the Bible or man? Did your God type the Quran or a man? No, actually, my God, He did. God, He He wrote for Moses the tablets. Your God in the Quran says He will collect the Quran, and He never did. Inna alayna jamuhu wa Quranuhu. It is on us to collect it and to recite it, and He never did. And the funny, the, the Quran, uh, uh, Muhammad, he said in the Hadith, <coughs> the first thing Allah created, it was a pen. Allah created the pen, and he said to the pen, write. <laughs> Do you see it? <coughs> verily, the, the Prophet said, the verily, the first what Allah has created was a pen. And he said to it, write, so wrote what will be forever. A truth seeker, are you a Muslim truth seeker? Are you a Muslim? You are talking to me already. The funny Allah, He uh, uh, in the Quran, He says He taught the man by the pen. He taught the man by what? By the pen. But the pen is not created by the Arab and not by Allah. Go and read history. Secondly, Allah did not give Muhammad any written thing. Number three, Muslim, they say that Muhammad was illiterate. So how you say to me that Allah, he taught the man by the, by the pen? What none on mic? How I can call you? Are you a Muslim truth seeker? Are you a Muslim? Allah, he taught the pen to, to write, write what? And why Allah is writing? For who? Allah have a short memory? According to Muslims, Allah have a tablet. Allah have a tablet, galaxy. After Allah, he wrote in the tablet what he will do to the world, he put it between the two eyebrows of an angel. His name is Israfil. An angel, his name is Israfil. Israfil, his job is to protect the tablet, and but he is not allowed to read it. This is why Allah He put it between his two eyebrows. A ninja is asking if Jesus is a, is exist. A ninja, what is the date today? Just to be sure you are not a drunk. Can you tell me, Ninja, what is the date today? Because, like, you sound like you are drunk. You are saying, as Jesus as he exist. What is the date today, Ninja? Two thousand nineteen after Christ. So even the year, the time, the hour, the clock, your computer, your salary, your, your life goes by the time of Jesus, my friend. And you are wondering if Jesus exists? Hmm. Mm. 
Hmm. I can't find the the hadith in English. So any Muslim, anything? Anyway, you know, Islam is very convincing. You know, like, uh, I like there's certain things about Islam, to be honest with you. Like this. I want to have that. I want to have this desperately. That's amazing. This is proof to me that Allah Prophet is a prophet and Allah is God. Only the true God, He can make your penis never go sleep. I want that. 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, your penis never go flat. Alhamdulillah. I'm so excited to be a Muslim. I'm really convinced, brother, that this is from God. Only through God, brother, can do that. The God of the Hindus cannot do that. The God of the Buddhas cannot do that. The God of the Christians cannot do that. Allah only can do that. I mean, you can tell from the speech that Muhammad is really, really busy preaching about God. Hmm? He was really busy. CP only coward. My friend, uh, Rob, Rob, do you know what coward mean? Do you know even what coward mean? You don't even know. That is your prophet. Your prophet, when he uh, he go to war, he hide behind. He's a coward. Once upon a time, Muhammad he got a closer. They broke his teeth. And by the way, Muhammad, since the beginning of Islam, he lost all his teeth. So how he used to recite the Quran? Bismillah, left arm, left He have no teeth. They broke all his teeth, all especially the front. So how Muhammad used to uh, you see here they says the prophet broke in his tooth. What tooth? It says Ruba'iyatahu, you liar. What tooth? Tooth? Only one tooth. Whose tooth, huh? Look here. And here they say is one of the his front teeth was broken. One only. <laughs> That's funny. One, yeah. Any Abdul? You know, I cannot speak like Zach and Ike because Zach and Ike contacted me and he said to me, I will sue you for copyright because you are trying to copy me to be famous. So I cannot do that. I only can speak in Urdu. I'm allowed to do that. So, brother and sister, the prophet, he said, that if somebody like Christian Prince and he tried to lie to you, don't listen to him. Other example, Christian Prince, he already claimed that the prophet, he used to like women. Absolutely, this is thought. The prophet, he liked to like men. And this is why, brother, he used to kiss a man down their belly. Yeah. The prophet don't like women. He like men. That's Jack and Nike. Is it true? 
that a prophet he like men and he kissed them down their belly have you ever heard of a prophet kissing men down their belly I mean uh, why even men they kiss a man what is that the prophet is naked no shirt the guy is no shirt Muhammad go inside his uh, you know and he start down down kissing him down and the guy he says don't stop don't stop right there prophet right there I like it when Zakir Naik he explain Islam to be honest with you uh, uh, there's a woman she asked him uh, why there's no women she is a prophet in Islam so Zakir Naik he gets so excited as usual and he said brother and sister the third day I can question why in Islam there's no women he the prophet I need to confirm to you this is absolutely true in Islam they have no women he the prophet and this is very logical the reason no women in Islam see the prophet because if a woman to become a prophet, he had to lead the congregation. And if lead the congregation, he had to do to do and we do. And if he do the wouldn't do, he had to bend over. If he went over, everybody will get her ass. And that would disturb the congregation. Translation now from Urdu of Zakir Naik to English. Uh, brothers and sisters, I need to confirm to you that the, the, the sister here asking question, why there's no Muslim women, why no women, she is a prophet in Islam. I have to admit and agree that in Islam there is no woman she is a prophet. The reason, if a woman she read the congregation, she have to bend over. If she bend over, Muslims will look at her ass. I mean, and the Muslims like, wow, look at this answer. And the, their, their mouth is open like, wow. This is your scholar? If this is your scholar, who is the idiot? You Muslims, actually, there's a hadith about a man, he is a gay, and he was seducing the Muslim by his ass when they pray. And the, and the caliphate, <coughs> then he forced them to pray behind the gay. Do you see it? A gay? And by the way, look at this. Why the Muslims are saying that this guy is tempting them? Why why a man can be tempted by a gay unless he is a gay too? You know what I mean? The leader is a, a fitna, fitna which means he is he is doing temptation to us. Trials and affliction. Trials and affliction. Okay, he is a gay. You are behind him. You are a Muslim praying. He is your imam. He is your leader in the prayer. Why you are tempted unless you are a gay? Correct? How a man, he bend over in front of you, can tempt you unless you are a gay too? How a man can tempt a man unless the other man he like men? Do you see it? And the caliphate he says yes, pray behind him. <coughs> Jesus never teach Christianity. You no, know, Muhammad he taught Christianity. Can you tell me what is a Christianity in the Quran? <laughs> Muhammad never met Jesus, never saw Jesus, yet he wanted, he told us two stories about Jesus. That's it. That's Christianity in Islam. Or oh, remember the story about Joseph in the Quran, where women, because he's so sexy, women when they are when they see him. And they are doing the kitchen stuff they start cutting their fingers and they don't notice this is how hot he is Ew, mean I wish I am Joseph this is why Muhammad he promised the Muslim when they go to heaven all of them they will look like Joseph guys uh, let me tell you this funny story when I was in the Philippines doing a seminar I was talking about Joseph all right and we played a video of a Muslim man speaking about a brother. 
When we go to heaven, brother, all of us, we will look like Prophet Joseph. Beautiful, very beautiful. Then I put my hand up. I said, who is here? His name is Joseph. Put your hand up. And then a guy, he put his hand up. His name is Joseph. Guys, this guy, with my respect to him, I love him, his brother in Christ. He have no teeth. <laughs> he look really funny. And he says, I am Joseph. I am Joseph. <laughs> So all of you who look like me, and everybody says no. <laughs> all of you who look like like Joseph. Uh. <laughs> Uh, according to the Quran, all the women when jo in the time of Yusuf, you know, uh, J Joseph, all women they want to sleep with him. All women, even the wife of the Pharaoh, everybody want to sleep with the with the even the the wife of the leaders of 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 the Pharaoh. They see when they see Joseph, that's it. They go horny. You cannot resist Joseph, brother. I'm telling you. I mean, Joseph, are you kidding me? This is Joseph himself. Must be a true story. All those about women, they want to have sex with Joseph. Look how many verse. Actually, the whole chapter. I'm going to read the chapter. Chapter 12. 12, uh, 23, 12, 26, uh, 12, 30, uh, 12, 32, 12, 51. Everybody want to sleep with Joseph. Man. Why God did not make me look like Joseph? Even for one day, just one day. Each time I ask a woman to marry me, she said to me, what? There is no man left in town? Hello? And look at Joseph. Women are fighting over him. This is not fair. This is really, really not fair. <laughs> hmm. Are you following Muhammad, Rob? Did you marry a child? She is six years old. Are you following Muhammad, brother? Did you sleep with your son wife? Are you following Muhammad? The Muslim is asking me if you follow Jesus. Yeah, I do follow Jesus. Why not? <clears throat> there to drink poison that's a good question you see the Bible speak about if you drink poison you will not even they will not harm you but the poison here is the poison of mankind the poison of this world otherwise all of us we knew that even Jesus he was crucified correct guys which means we can be harmed. This is what the Bible means. There's no way the Bible meant that. The Bible is speaking about there's nothing can harm you for you will live forever. Whoever die, he will live. No poison. Nobody, you can, you know, uh, uh, they can harm the, the, the body, the flesh, but they cannot harm your spirit. But as long as you mention this, can you drink poison yourself? You're a prophet, he said. You see your question. I answered you. Now it's time for you to answer. You're a prophet. He said, the one who eat seven ajwa, no poison can affect him. Are you willing to drink poison after eating seven ajwa? Hello? I challenge you to make a video eating seven ajwa and drinking poison. For sure, don't do that. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. That's stupid, huh? That will kill you. Be careful. And the funny, Muhammad himself, he died by poison. 
So he was telling us what is the medicine to stop poison and no, no poison can affect you and then we find that Muhammad himself he died by poison Do you believe it? Do you see that dude? Rob are you there? Don't play dead Rob how your prophet says that he eats seven ajwa a day, so no poison and no black ma magic can affect him. And your prophet himself, he died by magic. Uh, sorry, he died by poison and he was infected by black magic. He, he changed the topic now. The biggest uh, porn in this story, that's false. Those who do porn, they are atheists, they are the Christians. But Islam is the biggest porn religion. And the proof in the front of you. Hey, my God, let me show you. In the heaven of Allah. And now, actually, you can do muta. You can marry women and divorce them after one second by text. You're a prophet, he said, that in the heaven there is a market and there is no buying, nor selling in it except pictures of men and women. Read carefully. Indeed, in paradise, there is a market which there is no buying nor selling except images of men and women. So whenever a man, he have a desire, an image, he enter it. That is a, that's the, the biggest industry for porn. Allah, he opened a Playboy magazine in heaven. You see an image of a man, and you are a man. Who is the customer, guys? Who is the customer? Is a man. You see it? So whenever a man desire an image, the customer always is men. But the images are what? Images are images of men and women. So if a man he desire an image of a man, he enter it, have sex with it. That's your heaven. And you are talking about porn? Are you there, Rob? Now show me porn in my book. What porn? Ahmad Didat used to say that the song of songs is porn. Song of songs is not God talking. It's a king making point about Jerusalem. And then one day, Ahmad did that after 20 years attacking Song of Songs, one day somebody told him that the word Muhammadin in the Song of Songs. Suddenly, Song of Songs became holy. It was porn 24 hours, seven days a week for Ahmad did that. After he learned that the name of Muhammadin in the Song of Songs, suddenly it became a holy Song of Songs. Muhammadin. Are you there, mister? We don't have porn verses in the Bible. Did you teach your kids that Allah will give you women in a, a bit with big boobs and nobody entered their vagina? Did you teach your kids that? Yes, you did. You Muslims, you make the, the kids recite the Quran by heart, even if it is not for kids, it's for adults. Our kids, we teach them the Bible, the meaning of verses, but we talk to them about what adult is when they are adult. You Muslims, you recite to your child that Allah will give me women with big boobs in heaven. So if your son, he says to you, God, but, but, Dad, what boobs? What do you say to him? Hmm? Is that your Quran? Allah will give you women with big boobs. Hello? Abdul, you are no match for me. I know all your religion. I mean, anything you say to me, I will, you will get humiliated. Don't even try. What about the Quran says, I will give you a woman who nobody put his penis inside their vagina. Brother, brother, shall you read this to uh, brother? Do you read this to your kids, brother? Let us see, brother, what you will read for them. What uh, translation, brother, you like, brother? What translation? Choose one, choose one. Customer service here, brother. 
Ну, брадар. Брадар. Лёг Одесса, брадар. Брадар? Лёг Одесса, брадар. О, бой, брадар. I really like the Quran, брадар. Фантастик, фантастик, брадар. What, what, the Quran saying? Is that your book, brother? Did you teach your daughter this verse, brother? Brother, did you teach your kids this verse, brother? Drew C, debate you see, I, I cannot debate you with Drew C because all what I need to do to debate you is to draw C. Here we go. I want the debate. Here we go. Draw C. The guy, his name is Drew C. Here we go. See, we are done. Let your dad talk to me. Your name is Drew C. Any Abdul? Uh, we don't want to talk about cleaning butt truth seeker now. Because the question is coming like crazy. Where in the Quran does it say that Jesus is creator and he gave life? First of all, before you go and talk about Jesus, he is the creator, you have to mention in the Quran that Allah, he confirmed that he is the best of the creators, which means there's many creators. Otherwise, if Allah, he says he is the best of the creators and there's no other creators, that means Allah is a liar. As an example, chapter 37, verse number 125. All right? Then... <clears throat> Jesus, he said in the Quran that he is a messenger for Israel, yet he can fashion from the mud the bird in chapter 3, verse 49, uh, and he breathe into it and he give it life, as you see, and he make it living, living bird, which means right now in heaven, in sky, we have birds created by Jesus according to Allah. Uh, somebody asking me about a chapter of Maryam 1971-72 all right my friend 71-72 interesting interesting you like the number 72 don't you mm. all right <clears throat> In this chapter here, it says that everyone is going to go to hell. The translation here, every one of you will pass over it. That's a false translation. You can go and read the interpretation, and we can see. Let us see if we can show you the interpretation. That's why we say always don't, you cannot trust Muslim interpretation or I mean translation. They always fabricate, you know. Be careful. <clears throat> Every Muslim will enter hell. See it? And here in the interpretation of Ibn Abbas says, save the Prophet. Save the Prophet. So all Muslims, they will enter hell. But the Quran, by the way, does not say save the Prophet. It says, Wama min kumu illa wariduha. Wain min kumu. Not a single of you doesn't say there's exception. Uh, 
Any Abdul? Are we good for today, guys? Do we have enough for today? By the way, for me, I don't mind to enter the hell of, uh, of uh, I mean, hell, uh, uh, instead of entering the heaven of Allah, because uh, if I show you the videos, Muslims explain the heaven of Allah. I mean, this is hell. The second you enter the heaven, women, they will jump on you. There's a video, actually, if I show you, you will die laughing. Women, she will put her mouth in your mouth. The other one, she will lick your ears. The other one, she will lick your nose. The other one, she will lick your belly bum. The other one, she will lick your... <coughs> <coughs> to get water and women they will push itself like this his mind please let me lick him here let me kiss him here let me grab him here you know you will be like a piece of meat between the hands of those crazy women this is hell and then when Muhammad he promised that you will have a 70 years orgasm. So imagine we go to visit Shabir Ali. We knock at his door. Shabir Ali, uh, 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 Shabir Ali having orgasm now. 70 years. We come after 10 years. Shabir Ali is still busy. He cannot open the door. Uh, after 20 years, uh, Shabir Ali is still having orgasm. 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 70 years orgasm. I mean, if this is if this is heaven, what is hard labor? <laughs> if this is heaven, what is hard labor? Seventy years orgasm. Uh, what about the promise of endless penis? <laughs> you live uh, in California, but yet your penis is in the jungle of Brazil and those crazy fish they are biting it or imagine it's endless penis I mean you're you're, you're living in the earth but your penis in the seven zero uh, zero seven galaxy James Bond galaxy your wife is next to you next to you so why you need an endless penis and not only that Muhammad he says and a vagina fit for that how we can make that happen in this penis with in this vagina this women that's mean what the women how how wide she is how the how wide how wide the women is to have an in this vagina you live in California and then you receive a ticket because your penis is a blocking the, the 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 train in Japan I think they will get the serial number of your penis I'm not sure how they can know that this is yours. I'm sure Allah will find a way. <coughs> and Allah, uh, in the judgment day, by the way, Allah will put a flag in the buttocks of every Abdul. Flag? Why? Is that like ambassador flag? Crazy, crazy religion. Whatever the word the crazy mean. Um. <sighs> what a religion what a religion all right i think we have enough for today guys uh, remember uh, download the videos please because we will not keep them i'm, I'm going to uh, almost uh, uh, delete most of my videos the one i have them for the last uh, three weeks so i will give you a chance to download them for a few hours and then after that they will be gone as usual 
so download them post them in your and always if you want to find a video I made search for the same title in YouTube and you will find it in different channel all right so I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and I hope the Muslims they learn something good for today and uh, it's not my fault that I know your religion very well more than your God more than your prophet and none of you can answer me it's not my fault if your religion is stupid it's not my fault that your prophet is a false prophet it's not my fault not to believe that your God cannot be God for he says stupid things God and foolish doesn't doesn't work doesn't make sense God who think the Sun set in murky water is an idiot God who he think the earth is a flat is an idiot God who think that hail is coming from mountains in heaven he's crazy I mean ah, hello it's not my fault my friend so don't blame me blame your God blame your books which exposed your God and I'm very thankful for Muhammad for he speak a lot Muhammad is my favorite talking person he keep talking and the more he talk the more he made poo poo unbelievable I like this guy it's going to be very hard if the Prophet he don't talk the more he talk the more he got himself busted and that's what I like about him so thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again uh, please uh, download videos share them and if you like to read more get my books you can find them in amazon.com and I'm sure you will like them Christ is Lord Islam is funny and false and silly made by the man for the silly man and I am not the silly one to accept such a cult thank you very much take care bye-bye